Watch you guys got another video on the best free Windows repair tool to fix PC problems. Now, if your PC is suffering from blue screen of death or constant crashing, then this video might be useful for you. So a blue screen of death is something like this when, when the PC will suddenly crash and you will get this blue screen. And I'm going to show you how we can troubleshoot and fix common PC problems that are causing a blue screen of death just like this one. It's pretty straightforward and it will also give you the information to be able to research and find out what that problem is. But before we do that, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro and cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the link in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, they would then send you your key and you can activate your version of Windows like you see on the screen. Okay, so let's go back to the system. So we're on Windows 11 here, and what we're going to do is open up the start button and go to system here. And what we're going to do is come down to about. Because Microsoft have buried these settings inside the Windows uh, system and about page here, this is the system properties that used to be super easy to get to, but now Microsoft have buried it, you have to go through this process to get to here. So startup and recovery is where we want to be. This is where we can set up our system failure settings. As you can see, the small dump file has been set, but you can set up a complete memory dump file or active memory dump file or even kernel memory dump file or whatever it is you want to set yours up as. If you want to see a separate video on what these mean, then let me know in the comments section down below. Automatically restart, we want to uncheck that because we don't want the system to restart. We want it to be stuck on the blue screen of death screen so we can read what the error is. Now, overwrite any existing files. We don't want to do that because we want it to collect the memory dump files so we can take a look at them and, it, and examine them and see what is going on with our PC. So it's always best to uncheck that. Otherwise, you're only going to ever have one and it will delete all the other ones each time it's created. Once you're happy with your selection, you can click OK here. The system will need to be rebooted. So I'm going to ignore that for now. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you exactly where to look to where to find these memory dump files. So open up Explorer and go into your C drive. Inside your C drive, inside Windows here, look for a mini dump. Now, this is where all of the dump files will be stored if your PC keeps crashing and giving you a blue screen of death. It will be something like this. And these files are really useful for finding out what's going on with your system. So that is the path right there at the very top. C drive, Windows, mini dump. This mini dump folder might not be there, and that's because you don't have any blue screen of death files stored because your PC may not have crashed yet. So also install the Windows debugger tool. This is a free tool that you can download now from Microsoft's website. They've released this to the general public so we can examine the blue screen of death dump files. Right here, you can see install the WinDBG directly from Microsoft. You can get it from the Microsoft store, but that's normally outdated. And this is the very latest version. I'll leave a link for it in the video description. There's also other information all about blue screen dump files and stuff like that on this website. So you can go through and read this at your own leisure. So let's go ahead and install the WinDBG. Next, we're going to launch this program once it's installed. So click on the install button right here. And this will go ahead and install the program on our system. Now, obviously, this is going to take a little bit of experience to understand what these are. If you don't know what they are, then there's, I'll show you another simpler program which you can use, which might help you uh, troubleshoot and find out what the PC problem is with your computer. But let's first take a look at WinDBG. Uh, so how do we load these files up? So let me just show you here how we can quickly load up a, a blue screen of death file and examine it and analyze it. So first off, you can see it looks pretty complicated, uh, but it's not, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is go up to the top left hand corner and click on file. And you'll see the very first one is called start debugging. And that's exactly where we want to be. So from here, we want to open up a dump file. So click on open dump file. And then 
on the right hand pane here you'll see there is a browse path right here and we can browse to dump files wherever they are on the computer so if they're in the mini dump folder you can actually I analyze them from that location but if you want to do this on a separate computer you can have them on your desktop and just uh, browse to that path for that file so let's go ahead I've got one here on the desktop here and these drop down is auto detect so let's click browse go to desktop and you should now see the uh, mini dump file right here so let's click open and now click open again on the screen and this will open up the file. You can see it's starting to download all the required symbols and it's starting to load this up into the actual application. Once it's fully loaded here, you see down the bottom here, it's starting to load up all of the required files. It's going to need to examine this file. Now we have the analyze uh, link in the actual document right here. So right here in blue, click on analyze and this will start to analyze the actual dump file for us so it's going to analyze this file and i've just got this one off the internet so i don't know what's inside here but inside here it's going to give you some information which might help you be able to see what is causing the actual crash remember to take note of what you're doing on the computer when the crash happens this also helps with troubleshooting and you can see the image name is listed there i've highlighted it right there and that is the file that is causing the crash. And you can go through here and have a look. Sometimes it will give you the path. It will say image path to where the actual file is causing the crash. And you can normally see the failure point where it's actually failing. And it will even give you the name of the blue screen uh, crash. So you can see here the process name. It says registry and it says device object here. And you've got a bunch of other stuff that you can go through. So unfortunately, I don't have any recent dump files on my system that are related to, say, GPU or other things like that, which would have been useful for analyzing. Uh, I've just grabbed this one, and this is the only one I can find, and it's a pretty old one. So it's probably not relevant for this video. But if you scroll through here as well, it will give you some information about the actual dump file as well. And you can start using Google to troubleshoot this if... Uh, you don't know what you're doing. You can see hypervisor right here as well, listed here as registry keys. And let's go back a little bit uh, further and take a look and see what else is inside this dump file right here. Now, remember to write down as much information as you can to what you're actually doing on the computer when the actual crash happens, because this is important for troubleshooting. For instance, if you're playing a game and it crashes, this will be important for your troubleshooting. So right up here, up the very top, there will be some information about the name of the blue screen of death that you actually received. So right up here, you can see page underscore four underscore in underscore uh, non-paged underscore area in brackets 50. And this will be also useful for troubleshooting as well. So if you're getting consistent crashing when you're doing a particular type of task on your PC, you can use all this information to help search Google and also ask for help on forums. Let's stop that debugging right here and I'll show you another option that you can use. This one's called Who Crashed. There's also Blue Screen View as well, which you can use from Neurosoft, which is another good little tool that you can use. But down here, this will also help uh, troubleshoot and diagnose the blue screen of death dump file and it will sometimes give you an inkling of what's actually crashing on your system there is a free version available but there's also a professional version uh, which you have to pay for but the free version will also analyze that blue screen of death dump file so let's go ahead and get this installed on the computer let me drop all of this down into the system tray here and what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get this installed so it's a pretty simple process, as you would any other program. Launch the application, and it should look something like this. All you need to do now is you can see there's dump files here, which would be listed here, and you, you can actually hit the Analyze button, and this will analyze the computer and find the uh, dump files inside the mini dump folder. So I have one in there already, which I created, and you don't have to wait for Windows to create it. I've just man manually done it myself. 
so I can quickly analyze the computer here. So let's go ahead and click on analyze the computer and it's going to go to that path and that location right here and it's going to tell us to scroll down on this document. So let's go ahead and do that and right here you can see it's given us some information. We've got the computer system information right here and the crash dump analysis that is given us right here. And it will break it down and tell you exactly like I said here, page uh, fault in non-paged area. And it will tell you and indicate what it thinks it is. This is not 100% accurate, but it will give you a head start and give you the crucial information that you need to be able to troubleshoot the issue. And then you can start to resolve the problem that you're receiving. So maybe it's a driver issue or maybe it's a memory issue or something like that. So I've loaded up the other one now and you can see this one is D DPC uh, watchdog violation. And this will give you some more information right here what it thinks the issue is caused by. So again, take this with a pinch of salt, but you can do a bit more research on that particular name and then investigate further. Of course, it's very difficult to read other people's dump files because you really need to know what's actually causing the crash and what they're doing on the computer before you can help even troubleshoot. Now, a real simple way for quickly troubleshooting a hardware-related issue or a software-related issue like drivers and things like that is to do a fresh install of Windows. If you've got a spare drive line around, you can install Windows onto that drive and then remove the troubled uh, drive from the computer so you don't lose all your programs and data and all that sort of stuff and see if the problem goes away. If it does, then it's more than likely a software related issue which was related to say a driver or Windows or something like that. If it's still happening after a fresh install, then it's more than likely going to be related to an hardware related issue and then you can troubleshoot further with hardware troubleshooting techniques. And I've made some videos covering that topic as well many moons ago. So check those videos out. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. I hope this video has been some sort of help to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below, whether you like this sort of content, and I'll make more of it. If you want to see it, I'll do it for you. Anyway, but that's it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.